Welcome to Stuff is Crypto. In this video, we're going to talk about Bitcoin, some very interesting charts. But before we start, as always, like this video and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to join my trade signal group where I give daily trade alerts, then check out the first link in the description below this video. Um, yeah, we even make money if the market goes down. So please check it out. <clears throat> we are here on the Bitcoin four hourly time frame for the new subscribers. I still think it is very probable, very likely that the bottom for Bitcoin was in on the 18th of June, 2022 at 17,500. And since then we came up in uh, yeah, a very difficult structure to uh, measure in terms of the Elliott wave. Um, we then from off the top here at 25.2K came down in a five wave move. And since then at the 7th of September, on when we reached 18,400, we came up in this uh, move here. And right now the question is, uh, yeah, will we move higher or will we see a correction from off this point? So that's the big question to ask ourselves. And um, yeah, I can also see here, I haven't even noticed this, that we uh, touched the 20,700 US dollar level. So that is the top of my, I believe, the top of my target area. Uh, we reached it completely in one, one go. So yeah, pretty, pretty awesome to see. And right now the question is, will Bitcoin go higher or will we go lower? Well, first thing you have to um, understand is that from the, if we take a Fib retracement from the top here uh, to the bottom, we reach the golden Fibonacci ratio, the 0 0.618 Fibonacci, and we are trading below it at the moment. So in my opinion, it is a very, very high risk if you are uh, opening a long position right here. I think that is not a good strategy. You're taking a, an extreme high risk with a very low reward. We always buy at support and we sell at resistance. I'm not saying that you should sell here, but I think you're taking a very big risk if you are buying right here. Uh, of course, we can go higher. Today is the um, CPI data release in the US. So, of course, if the numbers are very good, Bitcoin will rally towards the upside and i do believe we can definitely see higher price targets uh, in terms of an elliott wave uh, perspective we can count this here as a five wave move towards the upside that's definitely a possibility um, yeah however it is also possible to count this all differently and that we still have a lot of room to grow towards the upside so yeah be on high alert even if you also if you are shorting be on high alert that if the CPI data will be positive, you will probably get wrecked on your short positions. So yeah, in my opinion, it is a very high risk to short and it is a very high risk to long at this moment. So I would just stand on the sidelines personally and just wait and see what is happening. If we come down impulsively towards the downside and then we, um, yeah, go to these levels here around uh, 20,000 US dollars, I think it's an amazing uh, amazing place to open a possible long position on bitcoin from anywhere from of 20,000 US dollars all the way down towards 18.9k i think these are phenomenal areas to open a long position i also believe there will be a bounce from of the 20.8k 21,000 US dollars if we drop to that level i think there will be a bounce towards the upside we will not go down in a straight line um Let's check the indicators. We can see here on the four hourly RSI that we are having lower highs here, but the price action is making higher highs from of this point here. And that is a typical bearish divergence. Also the volume on the four hourly time frame decreasing. So you could say that this was the top of the third wave. This was the top of the fifth wave. And um, yeah, you could open a short position I, uh, based on this because we have bearish divergence. We have possible five waves towards the upside and we are trading against the golden Fibonacci ratio. So it is definitely not a yeah, bad place to open a short position. I think, um, yeah, you could definitely do so. But just be aware that uh, Bitcoin can still push higher, especially if the CP, C, CPI data is uh, positive more positive than we expect so yeah what is interesting to see is if we go to the one hourly uh, time frame that we also have bearish divergence here significant lower lower highs here on the rsi higher highs here on the price action but it looks like bitcoin is completely ignoring this bearish divergence on the one hourly chart what is also interesting to see is that the volume is actually increasing here. And that makes me a little bit doubting if we are going to see a drop towards the downside straight away or if we are going to see 
possibly a big pump towards the upside maybe today. So I think for me, it's a bit too risky to open a short position right now due to all these factors. However, we are seeing some increasing volume here, but the rejection is just not very strong in my opinion. I would have thought before that the rejection would have been stronger from off this level. So yeah, we just have to monitor everything very closely for Bitcoin. Let me zoom out once more to the four hourly time frame. Yeah, pretty interesting to see. I think, um, yeah, in terms of a uh, chance, I think we have a 60% chance to drop towards the downside from of this point on and a 40% chance to go towards the upside, if you ask me. Uh, but in my opinion, it is for me personally too risky to short this also due to the very impulsive nature, how we came to the upside. I think it is uh, for me too high of a risk to short. Um, also too high a risk too long. I would rather wait for us to reach these support levels. And also if I look at some other altcoins, I can clearly see that some altcoins have definitely a lot of space to move towards the upside quite imminently. So I think, yeah, it is too risky for me. Um, let's take a look at the higher time frame indicators maybe the daily time frame let's see what the indicators are telling us daily time frame getting a little bit into overbought region can still push a lot higher i think i believe let's go to the three daily having the buy signal here maybe the weekly as well let's check it out yes buy signal yeah so a bit risky for me to short right here um, let's take a look at the US dollar currency index, see if there's any developments here. We of course had this bearish divergence here, still having it and it's playing out. We are seeing a drop towards the downside for the US dollar currency index. So this is definitely uh, the time to buy Bitcoin in spot but, and not to sell in my opinion, not financial advice, this is just my strategy. And what we can see here, if we zoom into the four hourly time frame, we had a significant drop towards the downside from off the 7th of September 2022, exactly as I predicted in this channel, I warned you guys that the US dollar is going to drop. However, at the moment we are extremely oversold. And for those of you who think that technical analysis doesn't work on the US dollar currency index, it definitely does work because the bearish divergence is playing out and the oversold and overbought indicators definitely work. Bitcoin is overbought, US dollar currency index is oversold. So I do expect some kind of a relief towards the upside before heading down lower. So that could also mean that Bitcoin could see a slight drop towards the downside, but nothing is confirmed. So just be on high alert if you are opening any short or long position. So yeah, that's basically my view on Bitcoin. I will of course keep you guys updated if I see any developments on the chart. And uh, yeah, make sure to like this video subscribe to my channel and let me know in the comments what your bitcoin strategy is i'm pretty curious are you shorting this or are you buying at the support or are you just staying on the sidelines completely let me know what your strategy is thanks a lot for watching appreciate all the support and see you in the next bitcoin video Bye bye